Today, we are starting a new adventure in the brand new Minecraft 1.20 Trails and Tales update. My plan is to claim this amazing spot of land, which is just across from spawn, and to start my journey on this server, I am going to build an amazing starter home that will make us self-sufficient right away. Hello guys, I am Soli Lace, and welcome to Echo Craft Season 5. To start our new journey, we have to start at the beginning by punching down our first bits of wood so that we can get our very first tool of the season, the wooden pickaxe. Well, now that I have the pick, I can get to work on getting the things that we need most at the start of a new Minecraft world. That includes upgrading our tools, collecting more iron and coal, and for some reason, a load of copper that I have no intention of using just yet. I, I just can't help myself. And also collecting a load of food that I just saw left lying around the world. And that leads us to where we are now, fully equipped in iron armor. But now I want to go and explore the new 120 world. I've got a couple of brushes, so off to see what I can find. So my main aim of this trip is to find bamboo because as you may know, bamboo is now a good block or plant to have. It's going to be such an easy way to get chests without having to chop down a load of trees. Also diamonds. I don't want to go down into the depths to find diamonds. So we'll see if we can find them from shipwrecks. Here we go. The first shipwreck of the season. And oh, it's there. Okay. Oh, two, two. Oh, that's amazing. Got here. No diamonds. Oh, potatoes. Holy moly. Coast to get two more. Four coast armor trims from one shipwreck. I never knew they were that common. Gotta be here somewhere. Oh, it's there. Yes, my first diamonds. Is there going to be that suspicious sand down there? I pressed the wrong button. Right click. <laughs> right click. <gasps> Come on. What is it? It's a gold nugget. A sniffer egg would be nice. Ooh. Is that? That's an emerald. I want more. Now I've found that. I want more. That was brilliant. Is that more coast armor? It is. Yeah. Oh, more moss. Bamboo! I've got bamboo. Yes. And look, more coast armor trims. Yay. Oh, look, more armor trims. Oh, that's on land. Oh. What's this? What's this? It's a wooden hoe. Amazing. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> A wooden hoe. <gasps> a shirt. Yes. <laughs> Blade pottery shirt. Back at our starter base and we can now plant our one bamboo. That's our bamboo farm. It started. Started. There's, bam there's bamboo all the... I, I went out and there's bamboo all the way over there. Oh, well. Me and my one bamboo. Diamond pick. So now that I've planted my single solitary bamboo, <laughs> we can go and do something. I, I'm not happy with that diamond count. I'm definitely going to have to go underground and get some more diamonds because I can't be doing with this. I need more diamonds. I think that covered it. Ha! Ah! Ow. Okay. <laughs> Did, didn't need that one anyway. Great. Diamonds! It's more than one as well. Superb. It's two. Diamond. Diamonds. Please be plural. Yes. <laughs> um, I'm not playing with the deep dark so early on. No chance. It was at this point I decided to go back to the old school ways of getting diamonds and went strip mining. And this actually worked out better than I could have thought. I got enough diamonds to craft a full set of diamond armor with a load still left over. Yeah, uh, that's, that's, that's definitely much better. But I know how we can make this look better. Get a smithing table. That in there. Yes. 
one of those in there. I have no idea what this is going to look like. And that, that works. Oh, yes, we're going... Oh, crafting a new look. Yes, okay. Okay, yeah. I mean, it, it may not be the greatest of trims, but it's it's a trim nonetheless. My first one, and it's on diamond, and it's got red. It, this is amazing. This is this is absolutely amazing. I, I don't know why I'm so happy. Now that we're fully kitted out with diamond armor, I can move on to getting myself an ender chest. I'm going to have to carry a lot of resources with me very shortly, and not having access to shulker shells yet, this is definitely the next best thing. So I'm going to the nether, hopefully find a fortress so that I can get my hands on some blaze rod. There's one right there. Right, somebody's been here already. Oh, hi. Just imagine if I get a skull first time. Just imagine it. No. I'm here for these guys. Can you uh, kindly leave? Thank you. Somebody's made this safe. This is amazing. <laughs> oh, this is great. Now we can combine our blaze powder with an ender pearl to get an eye of ender, add some obsidian. We've now got our ender chest. However, I can't pick it up at the moment. Next job, get an enchanting station put together. I can use those cows and the sugar cane back here and hopefully that'll get us set up pretty sharpish. Uh, there. Yes. It's just unbreaking. Come on. Show me the silk touch. Yes. Yes. And efficiency. Oh, I can combine that with the unbreaking. Oh, yes. Now that we have the ender chest, we can go on an adventure. We can go and find all the resources that we need to build our house in episode one. And I've also got my brushes. Whoa. Yeah, I've got my brushes so we can see what we can find. First up, I set off to find a desert, crossing all kinds of biomes on my quest. My house is going to use a lot of colours you find in the Mediterranean, so we're looking at sandstone, sand and terracotta. Oh, he's get, look, he's giving it to the villager! And he's not taking any no turn around, dude! Oh, heartbreaking. Heartbreaking. I'm, I'm sorry, buddy. You can give me your flower. Can I, can I have your... Poppy? Fine, keep your poppy. Finally, a desert. Ooh, and it's actually got a village. Ooh. They have suspicious sand. It's a shirt. It's a shirt. Ooh, which one's this? Arms up pottery shirt. Getting away from my distractions, it was now time to go and collect a load of resources from a house. I went back to that village and took all their smooth sandstone, some of their normal sandstone, and a load of their sand. That will show them. And just a few blocks away, there was a mesa. So I gathered a load of terracotta too. And after dumping all this back at my base, I went out to collect the final few missing resources that we would need. Now I've collected all the resources, it is finally time to build ourselves a dream home up on this mountain. But first, um, this place is a mess. Well, there we go, tidying this place up. I got to work on chopping everything down as we're gonna need all this room to build on. I also moved the animals up to the top there before getting to work on the land itself, as this was all over the place before I started with massive holes everywhere. So a little bit of terraforming to level it out, but still leave us with a little bit of variation in the land, which makes it that little bit more interesting. Now that our area is sorted, it is now time to put a build up here. Our first house, somewhere to be safe. Let's get building. Well, this house is going to be a big one. Definitely the biggest starter house I've ever done. And as I've already mentioned, this house is inspired by some Mediterranean houses, or should I say chateaus? Yeah, that's right. I started by building the main part of the build with a nine by 17 block box using terracotta, brick, and granite, then, onto the upper part of the build. Changing the colour palette to make it a bit more interesting, but still keeping with our Mediterranean colours, I went for smooth sandstone and normal sandstone. Now for the wings of the house. Yeah, that's right, wings. I'm going all fancy. I made these ones a little different just for that little bit of colour change, as I don't want it all to be the red colours from the main part of the house. Here, I went with polished granite, stone, stone bricks, tough, 
and just a little bit of pop of color from the terracotta again repeating this on both sides of the house and once again topped off with more smooth and normal sandstone good that's the main part of the house now we've got a few more bits to go on that bit and that bit after adding another little room to each side of the house, I added some small tower-like buildings. This time, going back to the terracotta colours that we used for the main build. And I know this isn't very Mediterranean looking, but I added a roof out of deep slate with a touch of dark oak because I just think it looks good with the colours that we've already used. This is starting to look like a pretty decent house. We just need to add some detail to it now. Right, we can use these new big pots to make it look like a pillar supporting a roof. Yeah, I, I like that. And continuing with the new block theme, I want to get some of the pink blossom wood to make hanging signs, but actually use them as a barrier going up our stairs and around this upper part to stop us falling off. Look at that, it's like it's a little barrier going around. Oh, I like that. I like that, adds a bit of color as well. Continuing with the decoration, bamboo blocks at the front and the back of the house to make some pretty nice entrances. A few flowers dotted around to make it welcoming for anyone who wants to visit and paths. We definitely need paths to connect all our builds. I'm doing these out of andesite, tuff and cobblestone. I think they look pretty decent. We can dot a few leaves around too. They just make everything look way better. And a little wheat field in this corner here, just because I can. With the house decorated just a little bit, and it's looking absolutely fantastic, it's time to move on to something else. I need a new home for these guys. They can't stay in here. I need this land, and that just looks pretty pants. So I'm going to move them over here somewhere. Good. Not good. Right, get in. In you go. Thank you. <laughs> they, did, they did as they were told. I'm going to plant a wheat field out the back of our house. And at the same time, I'm going to ask if you're subscribed. I'm almost at 10,000 subs. So if you're still here and enjoying the video, why not hit that button to make sure that you don't miss out on my future videos and live streams? It would mean so much to me. So thank you. But no, not again. Oh, I hate creepers. Why? <laughs> We're almost at the end of the decoration now for the outside of the house. Adding a few small trees around the area will definitely make it look lived in. I also want to dig up a bit of the land out the front. I think it would look pretty decent to have a few ponds out here. Give it a bit of change of colour because it's all pretty green. Also, a tree. A big, big tree. I don't think this build would be complete without a big tree, so we're having one. The exterior of the house is now complete. It is looking absolutely amazing. Now, onto the interior. This place will not be finished until I get an interior in, because look at this. Look at this. Nothing in here. Nothing in here. It's all got to be filled. So let's just go out here. Close the door. Then open it again, and we have got an interior, living room, kitchen. Through this way, we've got an enchanting room and the armory. Nice. Over the other side, we've got our storage room, and it is absolutely massive. And upstairs, I didn't know what to do with this room, so it's just that. And then my comfy little bedroom. So that leaves us with two rooms remaining. This one and another one directly over there. And we're going to put something in these that will complete our start home. So in this one, we're going to do storage for an iron farm. Iron farm is going to go deep down below. And in the other one, it's going to be a bamboo farm deep down below with the storage room over there. That's two early game items that will make our life so much easier. Yes, in we come. In we come. Yes, in we come. In you come. Into the boat, please. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> Sucker. That's villager number one. Villager number two. And finally, villager number three for our farm. Now that we've got the iron farm in and it is working really well, we've got one more room to do. And that is just over here 
and we're going to do pretty much exactly what we've done over there but this one is going to be a resource that we can make so much use of now it's a bamboo farm and it's going to go right underneath there with the storage up against there starting the bamboo farm with digging a massive hole and this is obviously great fun without a beacon mm. secondly we had rails for the minecart collection system then a load of dirt on top of that and for our flying machine i need a lot of slime that i don't currently have so a quick trip to the swamp which luckily isn't too far away oh my it's a soggy day out in the swamp today holy moly yeah give me that slimy goodness with the slime acquired we can now put together that flying machine plant the bamboo and reap the rewards and rewards it is these are filling up nicely that's it we're all finished and of course we've got to do a quick cinematic shot with shaders on this place is looking fantastic and with that we have an amazing house to live in we are fully set up and ready for more adventures on this server i'll catch you lot in the next episode